Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic, and today is going to be an off-road themed episode because I have uh, subscribed to this massive off-road race course, and I've also searched for a whole variety of off-road vehicles, some of them very off-road looking and some of them not so off-road looking, but I've, I was curious to see what's gonna happen. So this race course here is, uh, it got pretty popular on the workshop recently. It is made by Gloppy Gloop, and it is called Really Big Off-Road Track, which uh, it, it, it's a very, very, very fitting name. This is a really big off-road track. This thing looks so big, it's probably gonna take like 15 minutes just to get through it to be honest like look at how many twists and turns this has how many obstacles this thing has like it is a true test for any off-road vehicle which is why i have a whole bunch to take through it obviously i'm not going to take each one through the entire course we're just going to take each one through a section of the course and gradually complete complete the course with the combined efforts of all of the things that I've subscribed to on the workshop. So I'm assuming that this area over here is the intended start area. You can see there, there are X's over there, but there are no X's over here. So I'm assuming that's pretty much the start line and I'm gonna start in that direction. So as you can see, I've got a pretty decent selection of off-road vehicles here. Some of them look a little bit weird and I just wanna see what happens. Uh, some of them definitely do not seem like off-roaders and some of them definitely do seem like off-roaders. Off roaders so I'm gonna go ahead and start let's just start from the bottom and work our way up this is by llama gangster 64 this is off-road SUV apparently this reminds me of like an old like station wagon but oh actually when it settles down it looks more proportional all right looks like it's got doors here that we can open up four door all right we're in the back door won't close but uh <laughs> I mean is the is it off-road actually look at the way that the whole body the whole thing tilts it's got some interesting suspension i think that's why he's calling it off-road is because of the suspension all right i got to admit i am actually pleasantly surprised at how well this thing is handling this course already i thought it was going to be instant flip over but so far it's it's not bad look at this <laughs> see this is why look at the suspension work though that suspension is going to work Oh boy, okay, it'd be helpful if I watch where I'm going. I thought I thought this thing was gonna be instant tip over. See, this is, oh, okay. Oh. Did you see, oh, it went a little bit too much. Wow. Oh no, we're good, we're good now. Did you, we were like gonna nose dive and the suspension just contoured to the ground there. Yeah, this is why I subscribe to stuff like this because sometimes, oh, we're fine. Sometimes expectations just get completely broken, and this is a prime example of that. I really thought this was gonna be an absolutely terrible off-roading vehicle. But here's where it gets weak, and that's because the wheels, I think, are a little bit too small for this section. So let's uh let's go ahead and this is a great opportunity to switch to another vehicle. Oh boy, by fumble pummel by fumble pummel here. Off-road car. Uh that's a lot of wheels. And wait, question, uh, quick question. Why are why are there so many bearings right here? What is the purpose of this? Wait, here, let me take this thing off the lift. Oh my, it is lag. It's really lag. Probably, it's probably laggy because of all these bearings right here. I don't see why. Why is that necessary? All right, we have a button. Oh my goodness. Oh, the lag's gone. Is this the intended use? <laughs> Am I supposed to use it like this? Can someone please tell me why all of those bearings are free spinning like that? That makes no sense. Okay, well. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> somehow, somehow this thing's working. This is absolutely ridiculous. Wait, what happens if I use it like this? Oh, this is kind of nice. See, this is even better, I feel like. This thing can handle anything at this rate. Look at this. Why, like, why was this vehicle built, though, the way that it was built? Whoa, what is this? Oh, this is perfect for this. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. We are, we're definitely good. All right, but I am really confused as to uh, the reasoning behind this mode here. Don't really know how necessary this is. 
yeah, this is a weird one. There's not a lot I don't like about it, to be honest. It's an amazing vehicle. Okay, it's time to switch now. We got to switch over another one. We got a lot of vehicles to look at. A lot of roads to be off of. All right, so this is uh, by Crazy for Gold. This is Off-Road Truck 2.0. And this thing looks like a pretty standard vehicle here. We got some... Wait, what? Are those lights facing upwards? They are facing upwards, but I guess they're just supposed to... I don't know. Maybe it's an aesthetic he's going for. Or was that a mistake? Oh, either way. Let's see this thing go. See, oh, this thing has a nice cruising speed too, it seems like. All right, all right. How much power do we got? Uh-oh, we're kind of stuck here. We need a little bit more power. Come on. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, yeah, do a little bit of that. All right, it's a little bouncy. Oh no, look at it. Oh, look at that. We got some good suspension on this thing. Oh boy, but do we, we don't have, okay. It excels in suspension. It uh, it lacks in power, uphill power. Come on, get up there, get up there. This is not a hill climber, <laughs> not at all. All right, but it can get over like, I'm really liking seeing the suspension work. I wanna see it like in more detail underneath there. Look at what we got going on under there. Oh, there's a piston there too. I wonder what the piston's doing. All right, I'm just gonna speed through this section and see what happens. All right, no problem, relatively unscathed. All right, I'm impressed. Some of these some of these I thought might just be kind of normal vehicles that they just called an off-roader because it looks like an off-roader. But so far, these things have are pretty well equipped for this stuff with their suspension setups. Okay, now we have Hummer off-road. This one looks like a more typical a uh, standard suspension by Wixor PL. Classic Hummer design. Oh, we got a hatch on the top. <laughs> Look at that. Good old scrap mechanic. You need the hatch on the top to get out of your vehicle. Otherwise you get stuck. All right, now let's drive this thing around. See how it feels. Mm -hmm. All right, so far it feels good. And actually the suspension feels like it might be a little bit strong for this. Cause I'm expecting it's, it's sitting high, I feel like. But I guess if you're an off-roader, you kind of also want the ground clearance. So that's cool too. Uh, interesting. Interesting choice with the steering. So you may notice that the steering, the wheels are actually offset by an extra block than what I normally see. Which, uh, that gives, um, there's more torque to be had on that bearing. It can, uh, twist it backwards more than you want it to go sometimes. The further away that the wheels are from the actual turning bearing. Oh, look at this. This is an interesting part of the- <laughs> These rocks don't have collisions. How sad. That's one of the really annoying things with the tile builder is some of them don't have collisions and you don't know until you have already put the stuff in the world. Oh, that's a nice jump there. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now we're dealing with that uh, steering bearing issue here. Yeah. Watch those front wheels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, they're doing that weird thing in there. Okay. So now we have off-road Jeep. This does not look like a Jeep to me, but a hey, oily gator here. Uh, you can name anything, whatever you want. Okay. Ooh, this is a beefy car. I do like the design of it. Look at that steering wheel in here. All right. We got a bunch of buttons on this one too. <laughs> Another classic ceiling door. All right. We can open both doors. We can open the tailgate. Whoa. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you see? Wait, what? Uh-oh, these wheels. <laughs> Look what happens when I steer. The wheels collide with the vehicle, which causes this like weird glitch to happen. But you know what? Let's let's give it a drive and see what happens. Oh, this is an interesting part of the course. You could you could do some damage here. You could fall off here. I am a little bit concerned about the ground clearance. This seems like one of those um those flexing off-road vehicles where you don't really take it off-road, you just kind of show it off on the street and people were like, oh, that looks pretty cool, but it has no ground clearance. So you just kind of do damage if you try to do any real off-roading with it. All right, well, oh, what is this? I don't know, this thing's not gonna be able to handle this, I don't think. Let's see. Oh, no, oh, okay, that was not as high as I thought it was. I thought we were totally gonna hit our bumper on that. This thing's doing better than I expected. A lot of this stuff, it... well, that was interesting. Yeah, a lot of this stuff so far has been exceeding expectations. All right, let's move on to another one for this bank here. Let's see what the next one's gonna be like. Ooh, this one looks like it might be really well suited for a bank. Uh, Black Wolf Buggy Off-Road, this one's called. Ooh, those are some massive suspensions. Whoa, 
Whoa, we got all kinds of bearings going on in this uh, suspension setup. There's some really good, this is gonna be really stable for the steering, the way that the steering is connected like that. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that suspension work. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, this is a good one right here. This is a top-notch build. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I gotta control my, uh... I gotta control my wheels in the air. Otherwise, I'll end up flipping myself over the wrong way. Man, sometimes the suspension actually... Whoa, did you see that? I did like a wheelie. But sometimes the suspension, uh... It actually flexes almost too much, it looks like. The wheels go up in a weird camber. Alright, are we too big for this section? No, we should be good here. Oh, oh, I like it when you go into a wheelie like that. All right, what's this section gonna be like? Oh, no problem. That was soft. That felt smooth. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, uh, that, that was me. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna back up. I think if I do this right, I might be able to time this better to have a smoother experience. All right, I think I gotta go slow over the first one and then gun it here. Oh, no, okay, no, I'm just, I'm just doing it bad. I just can't. I don't, I don't have enough speed to do what I wanted to do. <laughs> we broke a tree. Oh, no, we're breaking trees with this. I forgot that those things can break from collisions now. Oh, that's great. Okay, this was a really fun one to watch, especially looking at that back suspension. Like, just look at that stuff go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I mean, we can just, we can just drive right through the fence. We don't really get a, you know. All right, now I think it's now time to transition to another one. That's one of my favorites so far for functionality. This one, I don't know what it's all about, but I'm here to find out. Well, Q, it's just called off-road, which is why it showed up. Now, what? The wheelbase, I thought it was gonna like expand or something when it came off the lift. This wheelbase is so short. Okay, but I get, then I can do that. Okay, and that it steers too. Why even have it go up at all? Like, you, you need this, I feel like. I can't even steer without it hardly. Okay, the suspension isn't even doing anything. <laughs> this is such a weird creation. It has a massive suspension glitch going on. It doesn't want to tilt at all. Okay, I don't, I don't. <laughs> this vehicle doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't physics right. <laughs> This isn't an off-road vehicle. This is an off-physics vehicle. This is just, just not follow the physics, the road of physics. Physics has laid down a path that we're supposed to follow, and this vehicle does not agree. So I think we're going to need to move on to something else for, for this part of the course. Okay, Daxon MMR by David Sirius. Surely he can't be serious. And his name's actually David. Well, what is going on here? Did these fall off of this? I think this may have been built a long time ago, and uh, it is now broken. Just a guess. Just, you know, hold on, hold on. Let me just get in. There we go. I'm in the seat. I'm in the seat. All right, I'm going to push buttons. Pushing all the buttons. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. It looks so cool. This looks like it was built with a lot of thought going into it. But uh, the game is not agreeing right now. <laughs> And I think we have to accept that. You know, this game dares tell me that I'm playing the game wrong sometimes, where clearly this game is playing the game wrong. Okay, now we have Off-Road Trophy Truck version 1 by Biggie Cheese 09 2007 So this, I get the feeling that this one is going to be able to handle this. No buttons or anything? Hmm, okay. Oh, what? Whoa, that stuff flexes. Look at that flex. Oh, it's satisfying to watch. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Right, right there is what I'm talking about. All right. Let's... Where does this jump? Oh, that's kind of fun. Man, this thing has really soft suspension. Oh, let's see how it handles this section. Uh-oh. Come on. Recover, recover, recover. Okay, we're good now. I just went a little too extreme. A little too extreme on the initial jump there. All right. What about here? Ooh. Yep. That's a lot of suspension work. Yeah, that was a good jump. All right, I don't know how much of the course I've been through and how much is left. So I'm, I'm trying to like space out the cars enough that I'll be able to get to the end by the time I get to the last car. But I don't know if I've been doing it too too quickly or too slow or what. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit more with this one. Oh, oh, oh! Especially since the suspension is so good on it. 
And it really feels like it's built for a course just like this. What is this? We got a tunnel? Oh, and a nice bank, too. All right, after this bank, I think I'm going to switch to another car. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That was a little rocky, literally. All right, now we got a section up here. We can test the off-roading on another one. All right, I got four more left to look at. This is by Blood Angel Lock. Off-road car. This is a six-wheeler. Whoa, okay. We have to close all of the doors. They're all open by default, and we got to close them all. We got to close everything. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay. Well, uh, I guess that's what happens when you use just standard, standard old suspension. And especially if you forget to paint one. I mean, that's, that's the biggest flaw right there. <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't have closed everything. Maybe if I keep everything open, it's going to work better. Hey, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's doing an okay job. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's definitely not top of the list for this crowd, but uh, it's driving. It's got a really, really wide turning radius, but that's what the banks are for. All right, yeah, look at that. All right, now I feel like we're going. See, we just had to keep the doors open. See, that, it's the, that's the air intake. Without the air intake, uh, you can't go off-roading. That's how that works. You got to open up the hood to intake all the air, and that allows your wheels to... Uh, grip the off-road. Oh, are, they, are these ones going to have collisions? Oh, yeah, these have collisions. Yep. Yep. No problem for this one, though. Oh, no, we're coming up to the end. Oh, we're coming up to the end, and I still have, like, three more cars left. Okay, this is Off-Road by Pop Ross Duixo. <laughs> oh, these are cool wheels. I have no idea what mod this is. I have, like, 60 mods enabled right now, so sometimes I see you guys asking what mods I use in the comments. 60 of them, okay? <laughs> wait, wait. What happened to the... the the door, what, why did the, my door fell off. That one's fine. Wait, what? What is this? Uh-oh, we have a suspension glitch going on here. It looks like it does have off-road suspension, but you can see the corner of the wheel is just narrowly touching the inside of the wheel well, and that's causing this to happen. Yep. Yeah, we got a suspension glitch going on. All right, but whoa, this thing's fast. This thing's got some power. Oh, look at that engine in the back, too. That looks cool. And we got the exhaust pipes. Oh, man, this thing turns like crazy. It's probably the suspension glitch making it do weird turning things. All right, you know, I'm going to do... Yeah, there's a massive suspension glitch in this thing. Every single time I turn, it does awkward physics. I'm going to go full speed into this. Oh! <gasps> That actually worked. I thought it was. I thought I was gonna hit it, like hit the wall, too too head on. All right, so we just skipped. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna. We have to move on. We have to move on. All right. Here we go. Now this one looks like it's built for this. Big squishy stuff has built off-road vehicle. It just so happens I've got the perfect map for this. Oh, we got some thrust on this one too. All right. Well, let's. Oh. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, look at that steering. We got some, some complex steering going on up here. I don't see any suspension pieces in this thing. Does this even have, like, flex? It doesn't look like it's flexing. Oh. Whoa. Is this... This is engine flex, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We've got engine power that is uh, responsible for the suspension. Okay. How interesting. Well, it definitely... It definitely works. But also interesting is that this is an electric engine. So we kind of have a, uh, a very quick cap on our speed here. This is pretty much it. Oh boy. Oh, it's a little bit floaty. Here, let's uh, use some thrust. Oh no. <laughs> Turning is a little bit awkward on this thing. It likes to oversteer a lot. Oh, it has four wheel steering. That's why. You know, can I do this? Can I do this? <laughs> no, almost. Oh. That was almost awesome. All right, I think I got one more left here. I think this is a good spot to try out the last one. This is Cyber Buggy version 1.03 Vanilla by McFluffface. Must have had the word off-road somewhere in the description. Now this thing, this thing has a lot of detail into the build itself. Uh, what about the suspend? Oh, there, there's a there's some pistons over here. Whoa, what is going on with that? There's like a double suspension stack happening here and it gets Stop. Like one of the suspensions stops at one point and the other one continues on for like look at all this flex Huh? Well, let's see how it performs. Oh, we got a couple of buttons too. So far so good. I mean it is a little bit bouncy Oh, we got a horn and um, I don't know that could potentially be used as a self-writing device if you flip over maybe 
I don't know. And this looks like a survival buggy too. It's got some chests in the back and everything. This one, I'm really curious. I want to take it on. It handled that jump so well. I didn't think I had that much power to get off of that like that, but that was awesome. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, don't worry, we got it. No problem. Just doing the old somersault technique. It's it's a classic off-roading technique. Learned it when I was a kid. Driving the old off-roader. All right, here we go. I want to see it on a whoop section like this. All right, there we go. Yep, yep, no, oh, we still got it. We still got it. Just doing a little bit of fishtailing, mid-air fishtailing. Another classic off-road technique. It's how you avoid flipping over. You just do the fishtail. All right, can we break more of these? Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can break all of them. Or, or, or all of them except one. All right, I'm going to go as fast as I can in this direction now until I can't go anymore. Here we go. Full speed ahead. Uh-oh. Well, that happened quicker than I was. No. Whoa, that recovered nicely. All right, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Did we just somersault up a hill? That's impressive. Ready? You ready? This, this, this is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> yep. This thing seems to so easily return to its wheels. I almost said its feet, but these are not feet. These are wheels. They're car feet. Okay, so these three vehicles right here, uh, these were actually the standouts for me. This one, just because it broke expectations so much with how crazy flexible this um this suspension was uh this one because it was just recovering so well from everything i threw at it and aesthetically it's a really awesome build and then this one because this seemed like as far as the off-road concept goes i really feel like this one it was built specifically and most accurately to that whole idea with this entire suspension setup and just the aesthetic of it as well so which one of the vehicles stood out the most to you as your favorite? And if I remember, I will try to leave a link to this map in the description down below. So if you have Scrap Mechanic, you can uh, quickly download it and build all the off-road vehicles of your dreams to test out on this map. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff that you can find on the end screen right here. Click this video right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.